Yes, ma'am. It's dead. Understood. What happened? Welcome, General. What happened, Charlotte? We lost our man. What do you mean, lost? He failed his trials and we reacted accordingly. Failed? He broke out, we chased him down, and he was terminated. Not good, Doctor. Do we have another subject ready? Yes. Patient Y is ready and coming in later today. Good. I hope he succeeds. If not, the future of the development team could be in jeopardy. I will report to you when he begins testing. Taxpayers don't like wasting their money on defective goods. I hope you can deliver a working soldier within a month. Good day, General. Dr. Johnson. Hello, Dr. Monroe. So, this is our new recruit? Yes. Uh, hopefully the serum will work better on him than patient X. Was Brooks notified? Yes. Although there will be a slight delay in his return, Agent Brooks is just tying up loose ends. So are we going to give him a name or? I will call him patient Y. You will call him Hector. Hello, my name is Dr. Johnson and I'm your new- They told me who you are. Where am I? Why don't I know? All of that is natural and it's to be expected, considering what you- Can you at through. least tell me my name? Your name is Hector. Hector. This may sound sudden, but I'm going to need to inject you with a serum. Why? It helps in recovering your memory. Now what? Now you have to rest. No more restraints. As long as you mind yourself. Okay. I'll try. I believe you. You should really get some rest. The serum can cause severe drowsiness. And his critical reading skills. His test scores for problem solving are 2% higher than previous subjects. Excellent. Brooks. Sorry to interrupt, but can I make a request? Yes, Sharon. I'm really glad that you elected me to be head doctor for this program, but I've dealt with too many failed subjects on my own. Would it be okay to get an assistant to help with patient Y? I will have final approval on the hire. Whoever passes my criteria must be a necessary asset to this project. Yes, doctor, of course. Brooks, what is your assessment of his combat training? Better than we could have expected. He's an excellent fighter and can dispatch his targets quickly. Very good. If you ask me, I believe that Hector is ready for the trials. He adapts to his surroundings well. He is more than ready. Dr. Johnson. What do you think? Although he is a good fighter, I still think he needs more time. He can process information very quickly, but not as quickly as previous patients we've seen. I don't think he's ready. You've only seen the science behind it. You don't know what he's become until you lived it. How would it help if I were in the shoes of a patient? We're not patients. We are weapons. <clears throat> Thank you.
General? I want to see him in action, and time is not on our side. This training proves nothing unless he can produce results. Fine. The trials shall commence tomorrow. Start with physical eye? No. Today begins your trials. The development team believes that you are ready. Wait. Wait. You mean I have my first mission? Yes. You've passed the local tests. Do you feel that you can complete a full mission with no holds bar? Yes. Good. Suit up and meet me outside the facility in five minutes and I'll brief you on your task. Move! Getting ready? Yeah, I'm finally getting out of here. Well, we want to give you an extra dosage to help you before you go. Okay. A less jazzy one though, so there'll be no backlash while you're gone. Whatever you say, Doc. Thanks, Doc. You want to see me, ma'am? Yes. The trial is for patient Y to steal all the files on the development team from General Lance. I don't trust him, and I'm uncomfortable with his newfound interest in our team. I thought you said this was going to be a field test. When he succeeds, then we will send him on the actual trial. Let him think this is a real mission, though. Yes, ma'am. Brooks! If anything happens like last time, you cannot hesitate. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Understood. You know your mission, Hector. You are a go. Doctor, do you have any prospects for the new assistance position yet? Oh, not yet. That's not why I'm here. I... I gave Hector an extra dosage of the serum before his first trial. Why would you do that, exactly? Just to boost his performance levels. But we found something wrong in his compatibility with the drug. You told me there was nothing wrong with it. The serum is meant to refocus the brain's strengths in order to make patients stronger and faster. But with the excess dosage I gave him, it could overextend his mental state. How is that possible? This has never happened before. I went over some of the test results again. The serum causes systematic damage to every organ system in the body, leading to hemorrhagic fever. He could bleed to death out of every organ of his body. Shit. Need to terminate patient Y. I, I don't understand. He might hemorrhage and die, Brooks. What if that happens in the general's office? We'll lose everything. I don't care how you do it. You just get him before he gets into that building. Understood. <sighs> God damn it!
What are you doing here? I'm sorry, but I can't let you continue this mission. It's too risky. What do you mean it's too risky? Isn't that why you brought me in? Isn't that the reason you trained me? Technically, yes, but not for this. No. What? You said I was ready. Don't test me. Know your place. Back off. Uh, what the? He's dead. Yes, ma'am. It will be done. Charlotte, what happened this time? I called you in because our subject failed. Again. How? Serum didn't work the way we wanted it to. His brain was hemorrhaging and he started to convulse. There was nothing left to do. Look, the government needs an agent up and running in a month. I got you funding because you promised me this would work and I believed you. Get me an agent who won't go rogue or I will. We're going to have everything under control. Dr. Johnson has just brought on a new assistant to help her out. She's young, but impressive. Her name's Julia Blake. They're working together to develop the new serum. Very good. And I've already picked someone to become our new operative. Who is he? His name's Clay Mitchell. He has a photographic memory, and his mother was in our intelligence community. And he has everything to lose if he doesn't join us. He is by far our best candidate. 